For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Tell me you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new tent from Outwell. So this here is the Outwell Birchdale 6PA. So the Birchdale 6 and Outwell's kind of prime collection. So it's basically a whole collection designed to be sort of uh, very price orientated, not necessarily compromised on the quality, but still have lots of quite nice features and also unique features also to Outwell as well. So it's quite, uh, it's definitely more looking at probably hitting the mass market. So, you know, what most people will be looking for in a tent. It's designed that you've got a really nice sort of uh, 400, sort of 1,000 mil high shed head embossed kind of Atwell fabric. They've gone back to that sort of Atwell green. We've seen in sort of the um, prestige collection of last year, and this kind of takes over really from it with the same kind of ethos, but with a few more different designs. And I think for me, a, a, a smarter, more traditional Atwell color. It's inflatable, so it's quick and easy to pitch. You can see from our own Atwell's pitching and packing videos, Took me no longer than best part of, I think it was about 11 minutes to pitch on my own, uh, which means it's perfect going away for a weekend or let alone a week. In terms of design, it's almost like a sort of a two slash three stroke section tent. So you've got sleeping, living, and then it's kind of open kind of canopy section. It, in many ways, it kind of almost reminds me of the uh, Van Gogh Doris that used to be around a, a while ago. And in terms of its sort of size proportions, it works really nicely. Or if you want to see, if you think of it as more like an Avondale, but with an, a more of a, a front canopy, uh, and it feels very much like the Avondale as well, to be fair, when you're sort of inside it. You've got classical kind of outwire features. So we're talking big, lovely, massive, crystal clear tinted windows. So you get a little bit of privacy when you need it to. Um, but then you've got curtains on the inside as well to get the ultimate map privacy. You've got a, each point is done individually. And you've got this really nice big oversized valve. And then you've got a new kind of cyclone pump included with the actual tent as well. Low level ventilation down here to obviously help with circulation of air. And then you've got on this model two side mesh doors as well. And in theory, actually to be fair, every single door, so the front and the two sides, all have mesh in it. So it can be really well ventilated. There's a new kind of sort of apex system we've got at the back with the ventilate points, which will come to sort of towards the end of the video. High visibility guidelines as well. That make it nice and easy to make sure you're not tripping over everything. You've also got uh, strong webbing straps at the back and the front, help to give you a bit more torsion into the roof as well. Just making sure you've got that sort of bounce and braces kind of style. Other things I saw like this little, little trim around the outside, just obviously just bows in with the guide points. It looks a bit more premium. There's also additional kind of strap point here if you wanted to buy some extra, well, guide points, put it on. Alternatively, the canopy can attach onto that. So there is a, kind of a universal extensions that go onto it. The front kind of canopy as well has a fiberglass pole to just to brace it as well. Uh, and again, just to give a bit more sort of stability in this kind of weather. You get a really nice sort of oversized bag as well with it. Uh, and you can see the obviously whilst we pack it away, how easy it really is to sort of put away as well, which is quite crucial. But and also things like color coordinated pegs. So you get a peg system where your main points, um, you have these really nice sort of uh, yellow pegs and then steel pegs for most of the other points. So, you know, it, in true our, our fashion, you get all these little things that kind of add up. But let's talk through a few more features about the Birchdale on the inside. So now I'm kind of in the birch so you can really sort of benefit from that really nice deep canopy. And that's perfect for a day like today when the wind's blowing, you want that kind of a bit more shelter away from it all. This works really nicely. It also kind of is the perfect sort of area to create that sort of wet dry section because you haven't got essentially an enclosed front. It means it's more versatile, well, not more versatile, but it means it's in a way that you've kind of got an open kind of area, which, you know, you can put a table and, and sort of, well, cooking unit out here, quite happily cook on here. You've got loads of circulation of air happily going through the tent itself. But also what you find is I think you've got the canopy areas and deep enough that you can almost have it like a sort of wet storage area. So shoes, bikes, anything like that can go in here more than happily. Um, and again, you've got two beautiful sort of big tinted windows either side. So you also doesn't obstruct the visibility as well. The pole in the front, as we talked, is a fiberglass pole, uh, which goes in there just to have a bit more torsion as well as with also the webbing straps to get that looking nice and crisp. As we kind of move into sort of the you know, the main living area, we've got the door scenario here, which can be put into sort of half or fully open. So you've got lots of flexibility in that. You've got these really nice, again, big tinted windows with uh, curtains behind it as well. So you can completely seal yourself in, or like I said, have the ultimate amount of visibility as you wanted to. Located behind the kind of the main door is a mesh door. So you've got a sort of, a, oh, wrong, wrong peg. So you've got kind of a full frontal kind of mesh door there. So again, for the ultimate amount of 
sort of ventilation so on a night for example when it's kind of it's quite warm you're abroad or anything like that or even in the UK you can have a light on in the inside play a game of cards or have not sit and have dinner and you're not having to worry about the bugs coming in again two side doors either way just gives you the maximum amount of ventilation and that's quite crucial you know your first barrier against the sort of bugs is quite key um, it just means that hopefully you, you don't get in, infestated with um, daddy long legs and whatnot do, do, do. Again, the door can quite happily just tie back. I'm not going to do the bottom one because I haven't bothered. Um, but then you open this mesh door. Then the mesh door, same sort of scenario, can be put halfway or fully. It's quite fine mesh as well, to be fair. So even when you've got it in place, it doesn't really obscure your visibility. But you can do the same principle with that, take it all the way back. I'm just going to, for the time being, probably just bung that in the corner. Now, the ground sheet in this area actually zips onto the main panel itself. Um, and you've got this kind of this little flap as well to stop it getting muddy. So it stops the teeth getting all dirty. Now, you have the flexibility of having that sealed, or as I've done here, kind of, you've got enough plane that you can kind of just lay it down. Arguably, to be fair, if you really want to, you probably put a little peg down in there. Just make sure it's completely run flat, and you haven't got a trip hazard into the main sort of area of the tent itself. You've got a double bay kind of living section as well, so it is quite generous in a way. Um, it means it's perfect sort of area, especially the doors kind of halfway to create, it's almost like dead space located here, and arguably before we do the same, um, with the sort of canopy section that actually will walk through and then you have your furniture and whatnot either side of here your wardrobes but you've got enough room for a table and chairs in here bear in mind this is definitely more a six person tent for me it's a, probably more of a comfy four you've got an ample amount of room in here to house the kids and keep them entertained when the weather does turn and it's chucking down with rain because that's what it's all about it's making sure you've got enough room to physically live in regardless of what the weather conditions are doing okay so uh, Still, again, we've got crystal clear sort of windows either side and then the toggle curtains. So in the main living areas, so there's two sides and in the front, you've got the privacy curtains. You haven't got the privacy curtains in kind of the open part because people can see in the front, so it's a bit of a moot point, really. The curtains itself can be put in up either halfway. So it's, again, the toggle up. So you can toggle up halfway or then doo -doo -doo, fully up to the top and even there's a little point point as well. So again, you've got the ultimate amount of flexibility you can all have a little bit of light in uh, or no light in at all and the other thing as well you, you've got this low level ventilation points beneath both windows on either side just to help with the circulation there and certainly kind of height condensation so condensation definitely is a real big issue at the moment uh, in tents because well they're so well sealed and that's what everyone wants but the material doesn't breathe so you need that sort of circulation airflow and we see that a little bit when we go back into the bedroom section in a moment interior height wise is quite spacious in here you know, I, I mean, I'm about six foot two. I can stand up pretty much in the corner. Admittedly, I'm a bit away, but when you sort of lower level furniture, you can get a, bit, a little bit closer. You've got a slight lean to it, but like I say, if you're really looking for this, for me, as being a, a family of four, possibly a, a, tight, a tight of five, um, you've still got probably more than enough room you necessarily going to need anyway. Now, we've got the bedroom system is basically what we've known and loved from Atwell in the past. And you've got this, the quick and quiet feature, which is quite uh, unique to them. So it's the ability of walking in and out of a door without having to use a zip. And it sort of closes behind you. You've got these little kind of magnet points just there. And it sort of closes and magnetizes itself back together. So you can just go inside. Like I said, the door will happily shut after you and close it. And that way it just means that, say, if you're... You know, adults are in here in an, in an evening, for example, and the kids are asleep. You don't want to essentially wake up too much to go out. You can just go back into there and not have to worry about waking up in the first thing in the morning. If you don't want to use that kind of quirky feature, there is a secondary zip located behind this anyway. So you can actually just treat it like a normal door. And just kind of open up fully. And you've still got the same kind of little retainers to bring it back. What you've also got in built in is a, a sort of quite a, a large mesh panel. So that's going to help for two reasons. One, obviously, firstly, ventilation, which is a bit obvious, but also if you wanted to allow it a light. As you can see, the bedrooms are quite dark, which is certainly a benefit, um, but it just gives you a bit more flexibility that you can kind of chop and change it a little bit. Now, the bedrooms actually is the same tone and tone shade as it was in 2020. The difference being is actually they've changed the, um, the color of the panel 
above the roof. So rather than being kind of the uh, sort of, we'll call it grey, that you uh, see in the living area and the canopy area, you've got kind of the side colour, so it's like a green. And that just helps to make it a little bit darker in here. Maybe I'll just open doors up so it feels quite light, but when the doors are shut, it just gives you a little bit more assurance that hopefully the kids will stay in and not wake up when the sort of sun does. Storage pockets located in the front of the uh, sort of inner tent and then also along the sides. So it means you can put things like keys and phones and books, that sort of stuff in there. And you've also got uh, Outwell's kind of hook track system. So it's a, a, almost like a beading that lives kind of here between these two beams. Actually, no, yeah. So it's on that beam there and the beam there. So you've got one in sort of the main living area, one in the main canopy area, and you've got these little hook track clips. So it's like a, think of it more like a clothes peg. You've got a line running around, and if you want to just create a hanging point for a lantern, for example, you just pop your little clothes peg on there, it holds in place. You haven't got to slide it on, it literally just pops on and pops off quite simply. So it works quite nicely. Uh, and it means you can suddenly, rather than you have sort of hanging storage units above that section if you really want to, or have, uh, I prefer to like these little flexible lights, and run it along the arc of the beam, they work probably the nicest. Other things to mention in the bedroom, if you've got this rear kind of ventilation panel, so it's a new kind of sort of apex vent. It gives you the flexibility that you can have airflow throughout the back of the tent, um, and you've got a little flap as well, so you can still have the airflow, but then have the sort of screen to get the sort of light coming in. And there is an external zip, which kind of opens up and can be fully opened up as well. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's bring the camera in, just get a bit more feel of the actual Birchdale tent. So, probably appreciate a bit more about the canopy depth now. Like I said, it's actually a decent sort of size, you know, it's probably maybe two thirds of the actual main living area. So that probably gives you a bit more of an idea. You've got these really nice chunky beams as well. And what you find is the front beam itself um, is oversized, so it's bigger diameter than the rest, just to kind of, that's where it takes most of its battering. So that's where you want sort of the ultimate amount, a sort of kind of, well, uh, stability really. As we see, we sort of got a really nice sort of crystal clear view through all the panels, so you can check on the kids no matter where they are. And we're into the bedroom section, you can probably see actually a difference there between the internal and, and how sort of dark it goes to kind of appreciate when you're inside of here, how nicely it works. The stockage, st st storage points down the side, and then you've got zip dividers between two sections, zipped along the sides, admittedly not the bottom, but it gives the presence of kind of a separate uh, inner tent as well. Now you've got this kind of back section, this fit really like down the middle, so you've got essentially a two, a sentence of where three and a three, or a very generous two through the side. For me, I think, to be fair, I reckon you could get three in there quite comfortably. It does look quite big, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but then you should probably see that tied kind of arch system as well, where it sort of curves a bit nicer there. Cable entry point located on the side, just behind the, uh, the zip point there, uh, next to the ventilation. Uh, and even there's little kind of cable entry points into the, beneath the pocket, say, little table on there, so you can get your electric or your phone charger directly into the bedroom as well. But as we kind of walk out of tent, we'll probably head around the back of it. It's a really nice kind of little model. For me, it's, it's something a little bit different in their range. You know, it's, I definitely think they've sort of upped their game for 2021 in terms of the design of it. I think the colour, like see that darker panel roof as well, that's what's going to make it look a little bit darker. And then you've got this apex roof at the back. So what I've kind of done has been, I've done half and half, it looks absolutely shambles, I'm not going to lie. So you've got the ability, this big vent at the back, which you can have normally, you either have on these little stays, Alternatively, if you didn't have it on the little stage, you can sort of undo the zip, roll it back up, so that ventilation panel is basically always kind of open. Um, and that's what you're basically going to do, is just give you a bit more flexibility that you can get a bit more airflow coming through the back. Obviously, the two doors on the side, the low level beneath the windows, and the big mesh panel at the front. So, yeah, it, it's, it's wanted, it wants to be well vented, um, which is the key sort of thing. I think, yeah, for me, I... I do like the way it sits, it's quite smart in the way it sits, I think that, that the front kind of tunnel section um, works a bit nicer and a bit longer. And I think again from a portion side of things it's, it's, it's deep enough without being too deep, um, because it just gives you enough room to get, get everything in quite happily. So overall I think yeah, it's quite a nice tent to be fair. Uh, if you want more information on this in terms of sort of pack sizes, pack weights, uh, floor dimensions, uh, bedroom sizes, 
Uh, all that information is in the link below. We'll take you straight for a website. We've got the other video about pitching as well. So you can always uh, sort of have a look at that one as well. We've got two versions, one sped up and then one in real time. Um, so you can chop and choose between those. But also, we'd love to hear what you think on the matter. Uh, let us know what you think in terms of the comments box below. But really, yeah, that's kind of our little video review on the new Outwild Birchdale 6PA for 2021 and then going forward as well.